In this video, I am going to show the pancreatic or biliary tract with pathological changes in pancreas of a diabetic patient in 3D model for easy understanding. You are able to see the pancreas with its body, neck and head along with gallbladder with intrahepatic and extrahepatic portions of the biliary tract. In humans, the pear-shaped gallbladder lies beneath the liver. It receives and stores bile produced by the liver via the common hepatic duct and it really and releases it via the common bile duct into D2 segment of the duodenum where the bile helps in digestion of fats. Here you are able to see the common hepatic duct formed by the convergence of the right hepatic duct which drains bile from the right functional lobe of the liver and the left hepatic duct which drains bile from the left functional lobe of the liver. The common hepatic duct joins cystic duct to form the bile duct which courses behind the head of the pancreas to join the pancreatic duct at the level of second part of duodenum forming the common bile duct. The common bile duct drains into the second part of the duodenum through the ampulla of waiter. In some individuals, there is an additional accessory pancreatic duct which drains directly into the second part of the duodenum. Now, pancreas cut section is seen. Pancreas is a mixocrine gland, so you can see endocrine pancreatic islet seen in a cut section taken off from the exocrine part of the pancreas. The pancreas is part of the gastrointestinal system that, as an exocrine gland, makes and secretes digestive enzymes into the intestine, and also an endocrine gland that makes and secretes hormones into the blood to control energy, metabolism and storage throughout the body. Exocrine pancreas is the portion of the pancreas that makes and secretes digestive enzymes into the duodenum. This, ex this includes acinar and duct cells with associated connective tissue, vessels and nerves. The exocrine components comprise more than 95% of the pancreatic mass. Exocrine pancreatic glands with its SNR type of cells and SNR duct is seen in purple color. They produce pancreatic enzymes for digestion. Endocrine pancreas or pancreatic islets or islets of Langerhans are the regions of, of the pancreas that contain its hormone producing cells. Hormones produced in the pancreatic islets are secreted directly into the blood flow by four types of cells. Islets comprise 1 to 2 percent of the pancreatic mass whereas endocrine pancreas have cluster of cells which produces hormones that regulate blood sugar and pancreatic secretions. As you can see now the difference between the normal islet cells and the islet of diabetic pancreas in normal, in normal islet structure we can see normal alpha cells that produce glucagon, the beta cells that produce insulin, the delta cells that produce somatostatin and the PP cells or gamma cells or F cells that produce pancreatic polypeptide. For comparison and better understanding, I have segmented this islet into a normal part and a part which shows the structural changes which occur in an islet of a diabetic. In the islet of a diabetic, there is an autoimmune reaction occurring against the beta cell in the form of infiltrations by lymphocytes. 
the beta cells are destroyed and are replaced by widespread fibrosis in the islets. There is lots of beta cell destruction which gradually causes loss of insulin production and thereby causes insulin deficiency which is a hallmark of diabetes.